70 million, 70 million and one. Oh hey, it's vlog day 406, 70 million and two, 70 million and three. Today is a reflections vlog out in Versailles, which is where we will start. Uh, just going through the questions, and then we'll have behind the scenes footage tasting 50 year old plus French wine. We'll see how that goes. Despite my better judgment, I am trusting the weather apps that it's going to be a sunny day. It's very cloudy right now and a little cold. It's supposed to be like 83 and sunny. Here's hoping that they're not wrong. <laughs> This fog is insanity. You can't even see the palace from here. The fog is finally clearing up, which is good. I have my crepe. Ooh, and my bakery is open again, which is really nice. The curse of August is clearing. Oh, and it, there's no line, so I'm gonna go there right away, get my baguette. There's a Space Invader over here that I really wanted to shoot, or zap. You get bonus points for zapping Space Invaders in new cities. Baguette success, and now Space Invader success. All right, reflection vlog for the week. Question one, what did I accomplish this week and what's up for next week? Uh, what did I accomplish this week? This week is a blur. I was up till very late last night. I feel very accomplished because I know that we had a very short vlog earlier this week where I had focused most of my energy on this project that I'm working on, but I feel really good about getting that in. I haven't heard any feedback yet. I could have totally bombed it uh, for all I know, but I'm really glad that I got that in. I feel like I got, I felt way behind. Um, and there are just a lot of little things, administrative things that I, I got really caught up on this week. I also mostly stuck to the editorial calendar, mostly. The challenge that we're running into, and maybe this is a goal for this next week, is French Fridays are actually fairly hard to film on Thursdays because I don't know for sure what my work schedule is gonna be like. That is a potential hiccup every week. Question two, what French word or phrase did I learn this week? I feel like there was one, but nothing is coming to mind, so uh, fail on that one. It's not fall. Why is, why, why, why is this happening? Stop. What's happening? It's terrible. Okay, welcome to the Hammo. Getting established in France update. For, oh, that's an accomplishment, actually. I finally applied for that French social security thing for artists. So we'll see how that goes. That took way too long to get done. I do need to get my official doctor paperwork done. You have to have like a primary care physician. So I need to get that done. But yeah, right now we're kind of in the holding pattern waiting until we go to the prefecture. And then the question after that was, what was the question after that? I don't remember. Question four, what did I write this week? I don't think I can count the newsletter twice. I think I did most of the heavy lifting on that last week. No, I, I definitely did revise it a couple times though, so that at least I got some progress done. But I gotta keep working on the revisions on that. Like, I need to put that in my schedule. I need to do that this week. But I feel like I, I, one of the reasons that I wasn't was because I was working on getting a couple projects out of the way, making a little bit of money. The establishment stuff took precedent this last week, so maybe writing can take more precedent this next week. <laughs> All right, question five. In my estimation, how did vlogging go this week and what could I have done to improve it? Or what did I do to improve it? I feel like I've done a good job of sticking to the editorial calendar and trying to maintain a balance of just regular daily video footage along with 
intended editorial content. So I think that's been pretty good. I felt good about vlogging this week. I've definitely been a little bit tired in a couple of days and had a rough time getting into my edit. Only like once or twice. Overall, been really, really happy with it. Six, social life, sleeping, and exercise. Social life is really good this week, actually. I did pretty well. Saw some good friends, went to a movie, even. That was cool. Social life is really good. Sleep? Nah. 50-50. I did really well some days, and like last night, not great at all. And then exercise, back on the horse a little bit. Ran twice this week, I think. Which is good, and I want to keep that up. I also did a fair number of pull-ups, but a few fewer. I just definitely, I fell off the horse last week, and I'm getting back on it this week. So, overall, B+. Plus. Number seven. I think is, did I call my mom? Pretty sure I need to look it up. Either way, that is one of the last questions. Yes, and in a surprising turn of events, she answered the phone. So I actually got to talk to my mom for like 30 minutes the other night. It was lovely. Anyways, back to Paris. Nope, that was question number eight. Question number seven was, any big events this week? Anything I'm particularly proud of or anything I'm particularly embarrassed about? Thankfully, nothing super embarrassing happened this week. Uh, I'm still I'm still functioning. The Google thing has been pretty fun. That's pretty exciting, so I guess I'm proud of that. Looking forward to seeing how that develops. And otherwise, I think that's all of our reflection questions for the day. We do have one other surprise for you tonight, though. <laughs> Surprise tonight is that we're doing the old French wine thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Andrea is going to put the actual tasting on her YouTube channel, so I'll be sure to link to it when she does. But these are, ooh, that one's looking pretty rough. Maybe I will go for a different one. I'm trying to find one, some that, that I did want them to at least look decent. This is the same bottle that we tried last time. I don't know if you saw me try this with Jeremy and Erica, but you know, it tasted okay. Kind of like birthday cake. This guy right here, no idea. It looks a little bit reduced. We'll find out. And this guy, I'm gonna swap. Look at that, that label looks awesome. 1964. This one's probably not good. I'm gonna go grab another one. This one looks way better. Ooh, filthy though. And thankfully we have wine sleeves. Just in case you're wondering where I got this giant bag full of wine. My landlady had, a, I, there's just a bunch of old wine that just got left in storage right next to my apartment. She didn't even know it was there. Brought it up, I just asked her if I could try it one time. I was like, I really, I mean, it's just sitting there. She was like, ugh, it's probably not any good. But I really want, I've been dying to do this taste test uh, and give these bottles of wine a chance. So we're gonna give them a try. They are all in the range of about 50 years old, so that's pretty old. I'm pretty sure they got shoved in there when the apartment was either purchased or last used by uh, whoever lived there last because there's nobody that's lived there for like 25 years until I lived there. We're gonna give this stuff a try, see if it's any good, and then you'll get to see the full the full review on Andrea's YouTube channel, but I'll, I'll give you some behind the scenes footage here as to how we go about doing this. No, 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 no. Sonia's gonna do a blind drawing of me. Blind contour. Blind contour drawing. What does that even mean? It means I'm not. I'm looking at you. I'm not. I'm not looking at a paper. Oh. And I cannot lift my pen from the paper. It's a great exercise. It's like mental. Basically, you're connecting your brain with a with a pen. Like it's a. It's an impulse. It's really good. This is gonna be cool. Time lapse of this, and then we're gonna go do our wine tasting. <laughs> much like him, but I have actually fear of drawing beards because I'm never sure if the beard's gonna be where the eyes are or not. That <laughs> works. Show it to us. That a good here I can do the uh Yeah totally totally <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're all assembled. Andrea, Paul, 
Sonia, Christian back there somewhere. We are all, I hope that I, hope that I timed that right. None of us know anything about this wine. Christian knows more than any of us about the wine so far. These two probably know. I'm guessing Paul actually knows a lot about the wine as soon as we unbox it here. We're gonna let them do the unboxing though, and then we'll get started. Paul said we should take two hours to uh, let the wine breathe. We're gonna give it 10 minutes, it should be enough. Left of that cork. Okay. <laughs> weird. No, no, it has. It's there is something cakey in it. <laughs> Does that you smell know, weird like, to you? I think it's probably the sugar behind oh, this it. This one is going to be bad. I did way better. I did way better with the second cork than the first cork. The first cork. This smells like. Uh, wine one. You have to watch Andrea's to figure <laughs> out if we liked it or not. I, yeah, you're fine. Wine three, 1967. I didn't tell you the other ones. We have 62, 64, and 67. And again, you'll have to go to Andrea's channel to see what the heck happens. Sonia's figuring out how much these are worth right now. We're uh, oh, we're one. we're splitting the duty. Do you want to know Ooh. how much they cost? 962 Chateau Talbot. Is that the one? Chateau Talbot. Yep. Yeah. How was that, Andrea? It was pretty fun. Yeah. I'm still gonna finish that. <laughs> the thing, you, are we spoiler. supposed to? Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert. <laughs> One of the glasses is worth drinking. Yeah. yeah is really that not too? I'll I'll bleep out what you said about the <laughs> other part. No spoilers. I love the one, and the whole experience was really cool. It's nice. Paul, you survived. It, I'm still going, which is already something. Okay, but you know, he <laughs> French authority. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut the everything. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll bleep it out. Don't worry. Christian, how's the experience? Yeah, good. Oh. Good. No, it's, <laughs> uh, it's always cool to try things that were, you know, produced 20 years before you were born. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, 1967. 40 years before I was born. <laughs> <laughs>